Hey guys, I'm currently getting Burger King for me and Brian, but I know what our video is gonna be about today, and it's gonna be an experience. I guess it's a story time when it just comes down to it, but um, it's gonna be about our last apartment, which is our first apartment together, and all the craziness we went through there. I can't wait to share with you guys. Hey guys, sorry for, if it's loud, I'm driving, but you know, I just had to check in with you guys because me and Brian left work early today, and we were going into our apartment front office to go basically put in a work request about something that needs to get fixed. Now our apartment got new management, okay? So I understand that things are different. They're still trying to figure their shit out to basically get that correct. And that's fine and dandy. What has me pissed the fuck off right now is the fact that we went up there okay um one of the one of the girls i don't know if she's the only female that works there or what the fuck is happening but the woman who works there now was outside and she was she was just waiting um by the street okay so we got out the car we full blown past her she looked at us and we passed her and she got in she got in a car whatever car was picking her up and left okay which is fine all right cool you going on your lunch break that's cute that's fine right so we go up to the door and it's fucking locked okay so like i said that's fine you going on your lunch break my issue is that we fucking passed you okay we pass we literally walk right past you and rather than saying hey guys i'm going on lunch you can come back at three o'clock and i can assist you you chose not to say shit you shouldn't say anything at all and have us walk all the way up to the fucking door. Not that it's a long journey, but it's the principle of the situation. Had us walk up to the door to have to go read a sign saying that you're not going to be there. When we literally fucking pass you. Like, this new, I don't know who this new management is, but they are fucking horrible. Like, they're first, first off, there's no, they're, oh, <laughs> the payment thing is all messed up, which is fine. All right, fine. We got to pay you through check and all this other shit that gets, that gets situated. Fine. Okay. I can I can swallow that one, but there is no way for us to put in a work request. They don't ever pick up the fucking phone, and now this bitch isn't there when she's supposed to be. So they just got me so fucking mad about that. And I just had to share with you guys because the video later on today is gonna be about our old apartment complex that basically really just it was horrible. It was horrible. So that's gonna be the video for later when I get back home. But I just had to tell you guys this shit. So as promised, I'm gonna tell you guys about our old apartment complex. This place <clears throat> was located in, are Sandy Springs and Denimate the same thing? Mm -hmm. This was, I guess, was it in, I guess mm -hmm. it was in Denimate? No, it was in San, that's right, because it didn't make any sense. It was located in Sandy Springs, Georgia, okay? It's right off exit six. I'm not gonna say what the apartment complex is called, but it's off exit six. So, this place, it's like you just never had a chance. Or no, let me not say that. that's not true because when we first moved there, we loved it. Okay? It was so cute. So it was like um it was it was like a really small loft. So you would walk in on the floor level cuz it was just you only had we only had someone beside us on the right side. So we didn't have anyone above us, below us or to the left, which was really nice. So um we would you would walk into the front door and it, it's cute. It had a little um a patio section and had like a white picket fence and you had some bushes so it was really adorable <clears throat> you'd walk into the front uh you had staircase that would go straight up to like the open bedroom because like the bedroom didn't have walls so like the wall was like halfway up and then it would just kind of be like um a look over so yeah you had the stairs to the left you would walk and on the right you would have the living room and then if you kept walking into the living room you would have a kitchen <clears throat> all the way to the back and then in between the living room and the kitchen would be a bathroom to the left. Okay. So it was really cute. <clears throat> I had a lot of dreams for that apartment. I legit thought that we were going to be there for maybe, I don't know, like three, maybe three years or something. I thought we were going to really kind of settle into that place. But then all the nonsense slowly started trickling in. And there were, and don't get me wrong, there were a lot of pros. Like, when we first were going, there were a lot of pros. Like, I loved the layout. I thought it was perfect for us. I thought it was literally a perfect layout. And I appreciate the layout we had. I really do. Um, we made good, we made um, cool friends. We're not friends with them anymore. But we made friends with our neighbors, which was really nice. We used to always hang out, uh, drink, and just, 
hang out all the time, watch movies, play video games. So that was nice as well. And it was nice that we were really close to this, to our car. So it was kind of like a house. Like It was like the distance that you would walk from your like regular house driveway to your front door is basically how that was. So that was nice as well. And then we had like a front yard area that was kind of dedicated to us, which was good for our dog. Because we just open the door and she would run out, do whatever she does and come back. Like she would never run away or anything. So all in all, it was just really, really nice. So one of the first problems that um, we kind of experienced, well, I, okay, I don't really know the order, so I'm just going to talk about problems as they come up. So one of the things that we dealt with was prices going up. So there was a flat rate throughout the entire apartment complex for sewage, water, and is it just water and sewage? Water, sewage, and trash. And, um, and it was kind of nonsense to have it a flat rate all around because people like us who are just in a one bedroom, one bath, aren't using as much as some three bedroom, two bath apartment. So it didn't really make sense. And at one point we were charged um, more rent than what was, that we were usually charged. So I went up there and I was like, why are we getting charged more? And they're like, oh, um, the rates change. And I was like, so are you guys not telling people this or whatever? And they just really didn't have an answer. So that was frustrating because who the hell has time when you're worried about your bills and you're trying to pay your stuff and you have money going different places, you really don't have time for one, for one bill to just suddenly increase without any type of notice, you know? So that was really frustrating. Um, another issue we had, which... Let me think. This this was this was the most consistent issue, and it w it was literally ridiculous. Like these these apartments, because okay, so the so we were all the way to the left. There were four. Okay, we were all the way to the left, and the friends that we made were all the way to the right. These apartments just have bug issues, just in general. Their apartment constantly had ants. They complained about ants all year around. Our apartment were like like since the day we moved in were in it was just infested with german roaches and the apartment next door to us also had it because we realized that once um we had moved out and they had it way worse than us so we were under the assumption that the people who were living there next door when we first moved in it was this um it was this it was this white gay couple who were living over there we have the assumption because they were kind of really dirty they would smoke inside and their place just always smelled bad so we're under the assumption that they basically were dirty as hell and had roaches. And because we have connecting walls, I mean, all you gotta do is get through the walls and they can find some way into your apartment. So we were just kind of screwed. We had exterminators come like five times. We set traps. We bombed it. Nothing would get rid of these roaches. And I think they're like the, the most difficult roaches, right? To get rid of. They breed the fastest. Yeah, they breed the fastest. Like, that shit was crazy. It was literally crazy. Like, it's ridiculous living somewhere. When you're not dirty like that, we are not dirty to where we're getting roaches. Brian is a clean freak. So it just doesn't make any sense. So it was really frustrating. It's like you, like, and they would just pop up out of nowhere. They'd just be fine across the floor. Like, it's just so uncomfortable living somewhere and knowing you got roommates you don't want. Like, oh, it was, that was so annoying. So there was that. And then, um, let's see what else happened. What else were we saying? Oh, the air conditioning. So that was something that caught another, that's another long-term problem situation that happened. So the AC there, before we went there, we were all good. We went there, um, I'm pretty sure that the AC, well, I was confirmed that the AC, you know, that we had one was old as hell. It was from like the 80s. Secondly, it had an extremely dirty filter. And because of that, I ended up forming asthma. So anytime it's cold outside, I'm coughing. I'm coughing, I'm coughing, I'm coughing. So now I have asthma and I have to use an inhaler from time to time because the filters at this place were dirty because I didn't have this cough up until I started living there. And, it, and it's gotten better since I've been gone, but it's still like, I'm still coughing. And it's, that's ridiculous. I went somewhere and got sick and I'm still dealing with it now. And then Brian, and clearly the filter was wrong because it was affecting us differently. Brian, on the other hand, he would be, he would wake up every morning and throw up. Like, and it didn't happen instantly, it happened over time. But he would just wake up every morning and throw up. He has not done that here. Not, not once. 
Maybe in the very beginning. The ventilation system was older than the 19... Older than it the was 80s. in the 80s. No, it was older than that. It was a lot older than that. It's like older than the 50s. I don't think it, it could have been older than the 50s. It was a pretty old unit. I think it was the 80s, baby. I think it was like 30 years old. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it was... Just, yeah, like he was just throwing up every morning. Like it was just ridiculous. And he would, he would be drinking... He would just drink water and he'd be throwing up. Like it was, it was absolutely crazy. Okay, so there was that. Parking decals. You said what? Parking decals. Yeah, the, this parking de decal thing. So they randomly decided that we had to get parking decals, and you could only have two parking decals per household, and you had to have the sticker on your car. And if not, then they would tow your vehicle. So like, if you had friends come over during the weekday and you had someone spend the night, their car couldn't be there. Or their car could get towed, unless it was the weekend. Like, it was just crazy. And it would just come out of nowhere. Like, they were just dropping new rules that just it came out of nowhere. So that was really frustrating because they just, they don't give notice to anything. Another thing that was really, it was more scary than anything, was there was a time when, so there was, a, there was our apartment, and then there was an apartment right next to ours. It was like their sister apartment. And there was a time when the police had put up a bunch of wanted posters all through our apartment complex looking for someone because someone was murdered and shot at the part at the sister apartment complex and that shit was scary as hell because i don't know like i had never seen it before and i was under the assumption that sandy springs was a good area like it was a decent area but fucking water posters and stuff we were constantly at times there are constant times we see tons of police going to the back of our neighborhood there was a time that we saw a helicopter looking through our neighborhood as if they were looking for someone with the spotlight and when all these events happen the front office doesn't say shit to us nothing they don't send out any type of email no nothing so everyone's just kind of stuck guessing which is it's just unprofessional like it's just really unprofessional and then i think like the final nail in the head was the water heater the water heater, our water heater, so we're, we went to, we were at wrong, I think we went to, I'm going to think it was my brother's house, we came back, and the same night, because we had come back, it was, it was, we came back during the night time, and that same night, Christmas Eve. night, Christmas Eve night, our water heater fucking busted, all we heard was just, Psh! actually it was Christmas morning, if you really want to be technical, Christmas. yeah, because it was late, mm -hmm. and then the water heater just busted, and just, it, it took no time, and the the first floor of our apartment was just flooding with water. We had to panic and hurry up and grab stuff and move electronics. And it was just flooded. The floor was flooded. The bathroom was flooded. The kitchen was flooded. The living room was flooded. And the living room was flooded. Just, com just completely flooded. And that was complete bullshit. One, I mean, I know it's Christmas Eve, but we weren't the only people who were flooded. All, all four of the apartments, all four of the connecting apartments were all flooded. We were all soaking. All of us. I don't understand how that many water heaters go at the same time, but that's what happened. And it was fucking ridiculous. It took forever for the guy to get there. It, it, he, he, it, just, it took hours for him to get there, the maintenance guy. And then after that, he shut it off, and then it still happened again. We had to call him back because it busted again. And then after that, he ended up, we had to get a new one. And when we got the new one, that one started leaking from the top and spraying water. And then it started leaking down the sides. So we had to have him come back. We had to have this man come back four times for this. We had to have the carpet people, because we had because they were supposed to give us new carpet, which they didn't. Um, and they had to f give like the new padding that goes under carpet so the floor is soft. They had to replace that. And we had to call them back multiple times because... They didn't fully replace the floor. They didn't, like, staple it down or anything. Like, it was just a complete half-ass job. Just all around, between the maintenance span and between the sketchy-ass carpet company they hired. Like, it was just, it was annoying. Nobody was even assisting to see if it was okay. Yeah, and, like, no one was assisting. Like, you have you have four-plus people, whole households, not even just people, households, who shit is flooding. And y'all not even making sure shit is fixed. Like, y'all don't call back nothing. It was just, it was just agitating. Like, that apartment was agitating as hell. And then we always heard people loud. Like, there was just a lot of loud, ratchet-ass people. Honestly, there were. Like, there was this one woman with her son. And she would always be 
yelling at her son walking down to the fucking bus stop and it was it was just agitating like especially because we're in the front and we could just hear everything we could hear everything and people like being loud people yeah this one guy would religiously always sing every single time he's walking up and back to wherever he's going always singing loud like he's at like he's doing a concert like really what like why the fuck are you doing that i don't know but that happened i'm trying to figure out what what possessed us to just break i I just found the apartment broke lease is that what happened because we had the christmas event but then we were still here for a couple months and then i must have just been looking at apartments and decided to break lease I'm pretty sure. I found this apartment right now. Fell in love because because I had gotten a new job that past November. So we were making more money. And then I found this apartment. It worked in our budget. And we broke lease. The moment I figured out we could afford it, we broke lease. Well, another thing that Brian reminded me of was the fact that if you ever need like a work request or you need anything done, they were very slow about it. And you had to remind them like six times. Like for instance, one time I paid to get a wall painted. And I had to remind them four times for something I already paid for. Because they make you pay ahead. But how the fuck you gonna make someone pay and forget that this order got put in? Like, there was this one guy who ironically was named Brian, this old white guy that was working there. And he would forget anything you told him. Like, anytime it was just him there, he would fucking... I would, we would, someone would tell something. He'd be like, oh, let me write this down. And then I'll go up there, like, a couple days later, and then, like, the management person would be like... He never said that. And I'm just like, y'all need to fire this guy. Because he just really is not the move, like, at all. And then, first three parking spots were for new residents. Or future residents, whatever. And then they had about seven parking spots to the right of that. Okay? The people who worked there, every day, all the time, always parked in the new resident parking spot. You were literally here all day. Why in the fuck are you parking in the, t- the three parking spots... That are supposed to be for the new people to come see the apartment. Like, y'all can't walk a couple... Like, it just it just didn't make any sense to me. It made no sense to me. And they were... All of them would always take a lunch break at the same exact time. There are three employees there. Why are y'all all taking a lunch break at the same time? Yeah, guys. So... We went through a lot of bullshit. Like Brian was saying. Mm-hmm. The leaky fridge. And mm-hmm. it seemed like the fucking tub was gonna come through the floor to the laundry room because the floor was fucking falling out if you hear that snoring in the background uh that's Khaleesi she is knocked out if you like this video guys hit the like button if you like this channel please subscribe I do post daily and I will see you guys tomorrow with another video bye